Good evening, Southern Soul Tarot fam. Tonight we're going to do, be doing a private reading for PR number 288. So basically they are wanting to know if their son is okay. <clears throat> is there any messages that he has for them? And is there a certain thing or smell or any type of um, hints that they give him whenever they are around visiting him? So um, I do want to automatically say that he did say yes to smells. Um, so we're going to go ahead and still see that with the, the, the terror that I have picked out for us, um, with the situation being that I know, um, of his past, I'm going to go ahead and put down some water to kind of go ahead. It's an enemy breaking water. I'll kind of help him explain some stuff. If there's anything that he wants to tell. That'd be vital to you, you know, to you. And then we're also going to put down St. Jude water. So we're going to use a good luck spray for him as well. We're also going to use, um, basically, it's kind of like a, it's kind of like an energy breaking spell uh, spray. So if there's anything around it that needs to be released or anything that needs to be said, it should come out. That's just Palo Santo for to knock out negative energy and then a protection spray for everybody during the reading as well as the spirits who come in. And like I said, again, everybody who's, you know, around y'all and your family and watching. So um, again, I want to thank y'all for choosing me to do y'all's private reading. I greatly appreciate it. So this is going to be for PR number 288. So we are going ahead and start off with the Tarot Grand Lux. So I'm going to use that for the baseboard to lay down for the first three questions. So we're going to ask your son again if he is okay. Is there any messages that he has for you? Is there any certain things or smells uh, that he is hinting to you when he is around you that, that he would maybe be able to tell you? Like I said, I am hearing yes to smells. Maybe things outside too, in gardens or or um, maybe some type of uh, butterfly or birds or something like that too could be a hint. A lot of times feathers. So let's go ahead and see what else. My spirit spirit guides to come with my spirit guides. As well as yours, like I said, and then any ancestors, Archangel Michael, Archangel Gabriel, Archangel Raphael, and then uh, as well as source. So we're going to go ahead and start and see if your son is okay. So he is saying where he is. He has the four of coins. So he has the four of coins. So there are four things in the earthly realm that he kind of still um, wishes that he had. So, um, at that is where he is starting the reading at. So he is letting you know there's still four things within the earthly realm, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, energy that he holds close to him. But he did have to let those go. So he is saying that that's something about, you know, whether he's okay. That is just something he's expressing. He did have to let some things go that was close to him. And then as far as, is there any message he has for you? And he is saying in Six of Coins. So he's saying where he is, there is balance. Um, now... I don't know, again, the details of around it, but I do know that um, where he, he is saying that there is a balance, an equal balance, a give and take now. Where he is, he's learned that. He's learned how to balance things. That's Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy again. So that's two earth signs coming out. So let's see, is there any certain smells that he would like you to know about or any other things that he comes around? Um, he has a death cycle come out in that. So he is saying yes once he passed. That he did, and I did say smells, and as you can see on the mask, this particularly has a elongated nose for the mask, so, and then he's holding the rose, which obviously is going to have a scent to it. So that's, and then there's, I said feathers as well, so you do see the bird, you do see flowers, and you do see kind of the elongated nose with the smell. So that's kind of why I said I, I do feel like you see those things, or might hear those things sometimes, or I would look for those things. Um, so that's usually the kind of hints they give you. What are the four of pentacles here for? As far as if you are okay. Can you please tell us why the four of pentacles are reversed? For as why you want your mother to know if you are okay? Okay. 
He's saying that he did have to defend himself with the Seven of Wands. So that he is acknowledging that with the situation. So that's going to be Fire Energy, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. So there was a, situ a situation that was a confrontational. As far as your question was, was, you know, is he okay? I know you're asking, is he okay now? But um, he's that is what he is putting out at the moment. We will clarify, and then he'll probably get more into detail of how he feels now. So let's see. With the Six of Coins, he is feeling the King of Wands. So is there any message? He is saying where he is. He is feeling in a king-like energy. So he is feeling um, young, youthful, and he does feel um, kind of, like I said, this is like someone you know, who kind of runs their kingdom. Like I said, it is a king. So, um, I don't know what his birthday was, but again, it represents Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but basically they are action. So they kind of do what they say they're going to do. But again, he is saying he's in a king-like energy. So, he is at least giving that message across that he does feel good about his stature where he is. So, let's go ahead and see if there's any certain things or smells that he wants you to know about besides the bird, the uh, possible feathers, you know, being seen, the flowers, and then, you know, any possible smells. He is saying, um, the Queen of Wands. I think he's saying he looks at you maybe as the Queen of Wands, or again, um, just a womanly energy around him as the Queen of Wands. Uh, that is something that he does focus on, um, within the earthly realm. So, again, it's Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, but again, um... It is a queen-like energy, so he do still does focus very much on a womanly energy in the earthly realm. So let's go ahead and see why the seven of wands are here, for if he is okay, as far as him having to defend himself up into the situation. He is acknowledging that, that he did have to defend himself a bit. I want to see if he is doing okay, though, now. He is saying at the moment, it was a three of cups dumped out, so I said, um... He could be representing one of the cups, or it could be three other individuals, but I do feel like it's two, two other individuals and possibly one of the cups representing him. But it is showing when it happened, it did dump out the three of cups, so it kind of ended um, what was going on in this earthly realm as far as any type of celebration that he could have had with these, uh, with not only his family, but, you know, emotionally, with, you know, but with other individuals. That's Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces energy. So where he is now, though... He is saying that he has the Ten of Cups. So, he is saying he is emotionally and abundantly fulfilled where he is. Now, um, he, you know, on the other side, you can have basically whatever you, you, you think of. So, whatever it is that he dreams or, or wants, he can have. So, um, where he is, he is saying that he is okay. He's, he is saying that he is okay in that sense. So, he is acknowledging the day, but he is saying that he's okay. And he is saying, yes, that he does give you the hint. With the smells, the flowers, and, and, and possibly feathers or anything like butterflies that would float, you know, or fly. And then with the Queen of Wands being there on the other side with them, that is something also in the earthly realm that he is looking at. And he does send communication. So, yes, he does send you communication, and he does it quite often. This is the Eight of Wands. So, this is nothing but action and movement, and it's coming right at you. And you can see it's lit up in the middle. So, he is giving um, communica communication quite often now. Um, uh, so I would, again, look around when you're outside, look at the elements around you. Um, like I said, when you see smells, it's him. When you feel like something might brush against you, but there's nobody there, it's him. So all those things that you think where it could possibly be him because of a smell or, um, an item or something like that, it, it more than likely is. Like I said, um, for like about 99% of the time. So we're going to go ahead and see and clarify with um, the Legacy Tarot, but also the Gateway of the Tarot Divine, of the D Divine Tarot, excuse me. So we're going to go ahead, and that's why I started my chatting. So we're going to go ahead and clarify. So I want to thank you again for choosing me to do your reading. Again, um, PR number 288. It is a pleasure working with y'all always, and thank you again. So, uh, let's go ahead and see why the Four of Pentacles is here in reverse for how he, um, if he's okay or not, what was going on that day. He is saying there is still an injustice with that, and that is why um, he feels the Four of Pentacles have been let go. He had to let go of something in the earthly realm because it's something that was unjustified. It should not have happened. So, he is acknowledging that. So it's okay to feel that it's unjustified, he's saying, and because it, he feels it was unjustified as well.
But he is saying he did defend himself the best that he could. So let's go ahead and see what else he has to say about the Seven of Wands. He is saying the Two of Coins. So again, this, I do remember him having to make a decision whether to possibly do something or not do something. And he had to make a decision. So he chose to do something, but the decision he made ended up dumping out the, th the, the Three of Cups. So I think it was two other people that he was with. Um, let's see what that has to have anything to do with it so once that happened they felt with the six of wands it was victorious unfortunately um, i'm sorry to say but they did feel that they were able to maybe pull off something and get away with something by getting him out of the way in their minds that's how they were looking at it and that's kind of how he's pre um, getting it across to me so let's go ahead and see the six of coins why is the six of coins here for if you have any messages because you're saying you have an equal give and take could you tell her why because the, where he's at now, he can put, like I said again, you can kind of dream and think of whatever you want. So he can plant the seven of pentacles and he can grow them into harvest and he can make them beautiful and plentiful and grow great abundance from them. So he is saying that um, that is something that he does, you know, focus on where he's at. So he is very much focusing on the, the earthly realm still, but he is focusing on, you know, uh, making things happen where he is and being happy. So with the king of wands there, why is the king of wands there? Because of the Knight of Wands. So, again, yes. And where he is, he kind of, um, I don't want to say he he comes in quick, but he, he, he kind of makes things happen. Again, what he wants, he thinks of, he manifests it, and, and he moves. So, he does a lot of moving. Um, he has a Ten of Cups. Let's see why. Because he's moving. So, that makes me kind of feel like maybe, um, I don't know how long it's been since he's passed, but you have to remember that though, we do reincarnate a bit. And especially when things like that happen. Yeah. Um, because you got death in reverse. So it's the ending of a cycle. So as far as if he has any messages, he's acknowledging, you know, with the death over here is this is when, you know, this happened with the three of cups, the dumping out with the death. And he is saying, you know, it, it made this un this happy home that you felt you had turned upside down with this death cycle happening on him. But. Over here, he is saying with the death card again, when I asked him if there's any hints, he's saying, yes, the death cycle ended, but I can still communicate with you from the other side. And this is how I do it. And again, on the card, there is certain symbols such as um, a key, a necklace, a bird, a rose, a mask, and some of the elongated nose. And you did ask about smells. So let's go ahead and see about that card with the death card upright as far as if there's any smells or things. He is saying yes. He does come visit you and see with it, with it this way. It's almost like you feel like he might not come visit. And you kind of are waiting. And it's kind of like lingering over your head like a ghost. And you're kind of waiting to see like, will I be visited? Will I not? I don't, I'm not sure if this is what's going on. I'm not sure. You know, like I, I just want to know it's him. And he is saying it is him. So you don't have to uh, lose any more sleep or anxiety or depression or, because he is with you all the time. So all of those thought processes that you're having about it, it's normal and it's okay to have, but he does want you to know that he is there. So, um, and the smells and the things that you see are from him. So, um, again, it's going to be things that relate that y'all would know. Smells that you would know about, things that you would know about. Again, with the two of wands, so he is saying the queen of wands is something that he looks at here. But it's two different things that he kind of looks at it the same. So there might be two individuals that he kind of holds to the same stature. Um, I feel it is feminine energy, and that's why it's wands on wands. So he basically is making a decision to communicate to two fem uh, feminine individuals. And that is why he is using the eight of wands to do so. Because, again, it's action. So I said over here, where he is, he is all about action. And that is what he is doing over here. That's that he has nothing but action, fire, movement. <clears throat> and he is making communication with the Queen of Cups. So, again, I feel like this was is his spouse, um, again, because the Queen of Cups is love and emotion. And, again, I think this is a message to you as well. But he is saying with the Queen of Cups, he does this. Uh, there's a Queen of Wands and Queen of Cups. So it could be that he is putting these two energies together, or they could be separated. But I feel like it is a bit of a separation at this part, just to let people know, yes, it is two individuals that he communicates with, quite often to let them know that he is here still with them. So that is um, another message that, like I said, he is getting across with that. So let's go ahead and do um, the angels, God and goddesses deck and see what we get from that. 
And again, I want to thank you for choosing me your read, uh, choosing me to do your reading. It's an honor, and I greatly appreciate working with y'all. It's a pleasure every time. So we're going to go ahead and see what we can get for the Angels, Gods, and Goddesses guidebook. If there's any information. Angel of New Life. An exciting new chapter in your life is about to unfold. So now he can be saying this to um, you as his mother, or he could be saying this to somebody who is of a womanly, motherly energy in his life. But you do have to remember, rebirth is something that also, too, he's moving a lot. So you have to remember that. So that's something, too. I'm not saying he's completely reincarnated, but he is moving, and he's, he's leveling up as he does so. And he is becoming more in touch with the 3D again. So therefore, I do feel like at some point he does want to come back. So, um, I think he's making little steps towards that. So, let's go ahead and get the hero's journey. We're going to use this for him, too. This is the first time I'll be using this one as well. And I think I used the goddess and, uh, god and, uh, the angels one before. But if I did not, like I said, this is going to be one of the few times I'm using it. I did just get them. So, I will be doing a deck review on them again. Or a, doing a deck review on them in general soon. So, if anybody's interested in them. For themselves, who reads? So let's go ahead and get one card to see what he's got to say about that, and then we'll do some angel whispers real quick, too. Alright, so he gave out two cards. So we'll take them both. So he gave out North Star, flip your inner light switch. And so that is uh, 9 plus 1 is 10. That is the ending of a cycle. So I do feel like he is possibly thinking about reincarnating because he is saying North Star to flip the light switch. So it's almost like if you follow this tunnel, it's kind of almost like going forward to me. Um, and if you flip that switch, it kind of makes things happen. And, um, the next one is 32. Make the grade with flying colors. Remember, you are signed up for this. That's what I'm saying. I think he's done this. In a life, not so much this particular situation, but he's done life here before. So he's ready to do it again. He says he's uh, he will make the grade with flying colors this time. So three plus two is confrontation. And unfortunately, that's kind of how he left. So this time he's going to come in to try to make sure that that does not happen again. So let's go ahead and do the angel, uh, angel whispers. So he has two. So one says, life is too short. Focus on what you can achieve, not on what you can't have or what you have it. So I don't know if maybe somebody at this point is trying to uh, achieve something and having a hard time, but they want you to uh, focus, uh, focus on that and not what you haven't been able to achieve because life is short or that could be something that he was trying to do at the moment. Maybe he was trying to, you know, change things around. It says you are being guided by unseen forces. Have faith. All is well. So this is also his message to you. So that is what he wants you to know. So yes, he is very much with you at all times. He does realize that the situation was not ideal for anybody and it should not happen that way for anybody. And he realized it was it was tough, but he is saying where he is, he is learning to move forward in a positive way. It was the ending of a cycle, but he has started a new one and he is still able to communicate with not only you, but another feminine energy very quite often and that he is getting ready to possibly reincarnate if he has not done so already. So let's go ahead and hit the singing bowl to knock out any negative energy and bring in all the positive. So light some sage and Paula Sanka just to not air out some of the negative energy. Again, I want to thank you for choosing me to do your private reading. Again, it is always a pleasure to work with y'all. If anybody else is interested in giving a private, getting a private reading, all the information is in my about section along with my email and all the payment links and then the readings that are available. And I also teach classes if you are interested in learning tarot or any other the other things that I offer are all there as well too in the um, about section for the Patreon site. So again, I want to thank you for choosing me to do your reading, PR288. Again, it is a pleasure to work with y'all as always. If y'all have any questions, just email me and let me know. Y'all have a good one and light, love and light to each and every one of you.